You have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba Father. My name is Brian Mashigadi. Welcome to DCRKZ Live Series. I'm going to be reading for us from the book of Luke chapter 2 and verse 25. I'm, leave, I'm reading in the New Living Translation. And it says, At that time there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Verse 27. That day the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and praised the Lord. And it goes on and on. It's very interesting how it mentions that this man was a simple man. He was devout. He was righteous. He was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come. It also mentions that the Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he was going nowhere until he would see the redemption of Israel that is the Messiah his name is Jesus Christ and so this man I think after the Lord revealed to him he just continued living his own life living unbothered knowing that he was going nowhere I would imagine that that promise preserved him it kept him going every day that so long as he had not seen the Messiah that he was going nowhere so this one day I would imagine the Lord wakes him up and tells him today is the day you have to show up at the temple at this time and so he gets up and goes to the temple and he gets there before Mary and um, Joseph and Jesus arrive into the temple. Very, very interesting uh, turn of events there. And so this man gets in and by that time when they're arriving, they find him there. Um, and so he comes in and says to them, uh, maybe pleasantries, let me hold the baby in my hands. And so he takes the child up in his arms and starts to speak because now he's beholding the promise of God, the thing that the Lord has, the person that the Lord had promised uh, to him for a long time. It's very interesting, it cost me to think, what would it look like if Simeon, having been instructed by the Holy Spirit, did not come uh, to the temple when he was instructed to come to the Holy Spirit? What would it look like? Because it would mean Simeon would come later to the temple and that would mean that he would maybe arrive after Mary and Joseph had already left. He would have missed the Messiah and so he'd go back home just as another ordinary day because he would have missed the moment. And so he would have gone back home thinking, you know what? I'm still going to keep waiting because the Lord promised. And then maybe he would be lying on his deathbed and thinking, how is it that I am dying and the Lord had promised that I am going nowhere? How is it that I am dying? The Lord does not keep his promises. But you see, all the while, it was he that maybe would have missed on his moment because when the Lord instructed, he did not wake up in haste to go and do whatever the Lord was saying. I want to tell you some things. If the Lord has promised you some certain things in this season, the Lord is also going to lead you right to those things. But the part that is required of you is a part of obedience. And not just obedience, swift obedience. Someone said to us that delayed obedience is disobedience. I sure do hope that you're going to set your mind and set everything, all your strength, onto obeying God and not just obeying, but obeying promptly in Jesus' name.